Hey guys, on this Opel Corsa, the spark plugs are located on top of the engine. Just remove this cover. First, you'll have to remove the coil packs, which are interconnected in one long unit. I never seen something like that before. So, unplug the connector, press on this tab, and it will pop off. Use the T30 and undo these two bolts. Once these two bolts are out, in the same holes you've got a little bit larger threads and these threads are made for a bracket which will come on top of the coil packs and you are going to be able to pull them out so since there are four coil packs that's going to be four times more difficult to remove them if each one of the coil pack is stuck so one solution is to use one of these fuel pump special tools you need just this part the long one so just undo the rest of the parts you will not need this adapter as well and with this fuel pump special tool once i place it on this coil pack assembly i will use these two bolts which will of course match the threads the bolts doesn't need to be too long because it will stick out and it will not go all the way in the size of these bolt threads is 6.9 millimeters or 0.27 inch I've got this small adapter from the sliding hammer tool so I'm going to connect first this black adapter on this tool like that I'm gonna use two a little bit longer bolts make sure that the head of the bolt is pointed downwards towards the coil pack I'm gonna tighten this bolt a little bit more finally tighten in the bolts on the coil pack connect the sliding hammer on and now let's see with one slide this should come out there we go now just simply disconnect this tool from the coil pack assembly and here it comes but you can see in these special occasions it's very important to have the right tools otherwise your life is going to be very difficult you can also kind of press from this side but that can be that can be dangerous and it can put extra stress on this connector especially if it's very stuck in there so now you can see down there the spark plug holes I'm gonna use a 16 millimeter spark plug socket with an extension and start from the cylinder number one All right. it looks like these spark plugs have not been replaced for a while because I need much more than the torque specs required to tighten these bolts I need more torque to open them which means those spark plugs are in there for a long time that's also a good sign to know if the spark plugs have been replaced or not when you use more force to remove them compared to the force you need to tighten them in this type of spark plug has double electrodes on it definitely needs a lot of force to open this much more than 20 foot pounds if you want to prevent the spark plugs getting broken inside the cylinder head you might want to use lubrication before removing them spray some silicone or penetrating fluid on each one of the spark plugs let them soak in there for 30 minutes or so and again if the spark plugs are very tight in there and you want to prevent breaking them inside the cylinder head make sure that the engine is also cool because the engine block is going to be a little bit more contracted and therefore allowing the spark plugs to come out easier like this last spark plug is very stuck in there so you could hear that sound that's not a good sign on the spark plugs you can see the sign that there is some oil consumption i'm not sure for how long time ago these were replaced actually they have not been replaced for a long time since i was struggling to remove them so what you can do in this situation when you find ash deposits on the electrodes put the old spark plugs in the gasoline or any cleaner without water in it let them sit for 10 to 15 minutes clean them up then after installing them back you can inspect them after you drove the car for a few weeks and see if the deposits came back if you find deposits again there are some oil leaks in the combustion chamber usually by the valves so in that situation you will know that replacing the spark plugs will not solve the issue the recommended interval of changing the spark plugs on this car is around 50,000 miles or 70,000 kilometers depending on the condition you find them 
also depending of your budget. But anyway, these power plugs are not so expensive, so you might wonder why should I reuse the old ones, clean them up and install them back when I can just buy new ones. Well, the idea is to see if the carbon deposits will be again, because if you have a more serious issue with the engine, then there's no point to replacing the spark plugs either. So I'm basically going to use these old spark plugs to diagnose and see the situation of the engine. So place your spark plug on the spark plug socket. That's why it's important to use a spark plug socket and not a regular one because this one has a magnet or a rubber which will hold the spark plug on when you're going to insert it back into the cylinder. So just hand tight it like that. Once you hand tight it very well, use a torque wrench of course and set it to 20 foot pounds. Right. So from this point, if you don't have a torque wrench, you can just follow the angle of the wrench you're gonna use. So in general, it's around 40 degrees of angle. Here is gonna be 45, but if you use like 40 degrees, then the spark plug should be okay. So first again, hand tight it and then use 40 degrees of angle. Now I can feel that it's hand tighted in there. Here we go. It is 20 foot pounds, so you can see the angle of it. I'm gonna do the same with the next one. Now it's hand tighted. I can feel that from this point I need to apply some real force in order to twist that spark plug. So you will see again the torque wrench will end up somewhere here. Here we go. So you can hear the click again on the 40 degrees angle. So let's hand tight it. You can see I apply very little force just with my small finger. All right, from this point, I cannot push it that easy with the little finger. So let's see, 20 foot pounds. Here it comes. Before installing back the coil pack, I'm going to spray some lubricant, some silicone lubricant on these coil packs in order to prevent further spark plug seize. The torque specs for these two bolts is 11 newton meters or around 7 foot pounds. Finally place the cover back, plug back the connector and that's it. Job done and I will see you in the next video.